Hello. Welcome to Hey Rhonda's Beer Reviews. My name is Bonnie. What's a composer's favourite style of beer? Bock. Yeah. I'm Ian. <laughs> I'm Bonnie. <laughs> Impromptu <laughs> comedy scene, apparently. Yeah. <sighs> so we are reviewing day six. <laughs> Carwin Sellers beer review. Beer review? Far out. Carwin Sellers beer advent calendar. I've just been watching some uh, Ali Goblet comedy. <laughs> Cheapers. Anyway, so did I say I'm body? Yeah, that's Ian. Uh, day six is <coughs> Frenchie's Lola Apricot Saison. And again, I'm apprehensive because I haven't, I don't really like saisons. I've never had a nice saison, but maybe Frenchie's Lola Apricot Saison would be the best saison I've ever had. I don't like apricots. Mm, okay. But I do have a lizard named Lola. It's a cool can with pretty little waves and multicolor. Um, it's slightly smaller, it's 330 mil. Um, what else about it? It's 3.5%, so it's a sneaky midi. Bloody state state. It should be law to say midi. I am it, a mid It irritates the bejesus out of me. It says an apricot. An apricot is sweet, velvety, fresh, and juicy. Just like this. This. Just like that amazing little girl that inspired this beer, Lola. So Lola is sweet, velvety, fresh, and juicy, is she? Okay. Aussie born with a twist of La France. Beer for food and friends. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a prick when it comes to what's written on beer cans, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> I'll just question them. At Frenchie's Bistro and Brewery, we celebrate... Celebrate the bistronomy culture on the plate and in the glass. 100% independent. We brew all our beers at our Rosebury venue. Vincent and Thomas. Hi, Vincent and Thomas. Hello. Don't, don't take offence to my interpretation of what was written on your can. Um, Rosebury, New South Wales. Looks like the Australia bit has been underlined, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Can you see that? Under here, looks like it's been underlined in pen. If I focus, can oh. you see it? Oh. <sighs> anyway, it's probably, it's probably about time for a mid strength beer. We've had a couple of strong ones. <laughs> We're all nicely uh, caffeinate, caffeinated up now as well. <laughs> yeah, so it's got EKG hops, malt, pale oats, and wheat, fruit, apricot, natural ingredients, preservative free. And don't take offence if I go bleh, because I really have never ever liked apricots, so... We've, all, we've had a lovely experience with every one of these, this can event, so... It's very, very light in colour. Very light in colour. Good head. say head um very pale very clear not a bad head good fit it looks cool oh, it's got that I, I don't like see the, everything we've had the last three beers remind you of things I don't like I don't like coffee you got one over by that coffee beer yeah I don't like whiskey, whiskey. yeah it's stuck I don't this one reminds me of wine I got a whiny smell. I was <laughs> expecting apricot, so I was like, ooh, yeah, okay, okay, here we go. I smell wine, white wine. Cooking wine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you get any apricot at all?
It's really fizzy. Not really, it's, it's more fizzy than the average beer. It's well carbonated. Yeah. I'm not saying so, apricot, which so is... This is the, I think apricot's I, like a really strong flavour, so... Faison has a whiny taste. Um, I don't know why, I've not been bothered to research it, because I don't like them, I usually don't drink them. Um, it's, not, it's not overpowering. I, I'm struggling to taste much apricot, it's gonna, maybe it's going to taste more. We've just been drinking IPAs and coffee beers, so... It's probably not ideal. We did refresh. In between though. Mm -hmm. We did. We, we did it with water. <laughs> you'd hope so. hope it wasn't Coke or lemon juice. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else you would use. I don't know. Okay, so we need to describe it. So I was expecting... Well carbonated. Yeah, I was expecting lots of apricot and just not getting lots of apricot. I'm getting some. I'm, uh, I'm getting... A, minimal. Like. The main taste is the, the whiny saison taste. So no, I feel pain. like that's what I'm getting is more... is the whiny aftertaste and everything and it kind of it's like a, a bubbly if you will for the for the ladies yeah a bit of a bubbly yeah i mean sounding a bit bitchy because of saison i'm not a huge fan but i mean it's nice that's potentially my first experience on a saison if too, you, if you, i can't remember if you override one. if you override it's like being a chef if you override the fact that you don't particularly like like it's not your favourite thing that you're drinking or eating, but then you analyse it and go, well, I can understand why people think that's good. Like it's. I can imagine drinking it at some kind of, I don't, I don't know, like a, almost like a wine festival, if you will. I think it's um, growing on, on me as I as I keep drinking it. Yeah. It's like, it's like your palate gets used to it. And, and Sometimes we do these reviews and we, we turn it off and we sit down and... And then keep reviewing? ...talk rubbish and we're like, oh, I should have said this or I should have said that. It tastes different as you go along. Mm. You, maybe your brain adapts to what's happening in your palate. Mm. And I'm, it, that, that, so I'm, I'm getting little hints of apricot, so maybe it's just really subtle after drinking our big thick beers. I don't, I, like, I, like, I don't mind it, I don't hate it, it's definitely, certainly not the worst thing I've ever drank, but it, it's almost got like a wine burn, like when you... Yeah, it's, it's a delicate, it's really delicate beer, that's what I'm looking for. Delicate So if beer. you're, if they're brewing this for their bistro, and you're ah. sitting down and you're having a, a, a white fish dish, or something like a really delicate flavoured... Like a light, light chicken something something as well. I don't yeah. reckon... I, yeah, I reckon something like barramundi. I was about to say like prawns as well. Yeah, you go really yeah. well with prawns. You know what? You could almost like marinate things with this as well. Yeah. So I understand what they've done. I just want more apricots. Um, I don't because I don't like apricots. That's but pretty but, but again... That could be because we've been drinking massively fruity sours. So we've just got to wind oh, back yeah. wind back to the style. Yeah. You can see how I'm adapting a little bit as I'm getting drinking and going, oh, okay, I'm understanding now. I, I would, so if you are at a restaurant, you're having a nice, delicate, light chicken or fish dish, mm. I'd go fish. Um, it, it, it'd go well. Even like a, um, it reminds me of of trade school when I was becoming a chef, and we would have, I believe it's called en papillette, oh. like something cooked in baking paper with wine and butter. Yeah, like that's, a, a fish. I believe you. Yes, that is a correct dish. I don't know what the actual name is though. But um, what did you call it? I think it's called en papillette. En papillette. En papillette. Off the top of my head, I haven't. Had to describe that for 20 years. So. It sounds French for young. Yeah. Okay. 
So I, 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 after sitting here and talking rubbish and really letting it soak in, I've got a bit of a different opinion about it. But once again, super duper happy to be trying something completely different. Yeah. Really happy. I've had some really overpowering, really sort of rank, wet sock saisons. <gasps> I had like a blueberry saison once and it was just... It's just... It's just... It's just yuck. You've got to get it right. I mean, it is delicate. And it's a delicate beer. It's not something we use to drink, but... What what does saison mean? I don't... We need to... We're going to do some research after this bit. We're nearly up to 11 minutes again. Yeah. I think we would have gone to sleep already. Mm. Oh, well. Sweet dreams. No, no. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I think I've rambled on enough. I, I don't know. I don't even know how to review rate it. Like, I'm thinking five or six. I'm, I'm probably happy with the six because... Probably, yeah. It is. I think five's a bit low. Six, because it is what it is. I think they've probably achieved what they, they're... I, I'm saying they've... I reckon they've achieved what they're trying to achieve. Yeah. I just would like, would like a and bit more. And it's Frenchies, but... which makes sense as well, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, because they're talking about bistro and food, so yeah. it would make sense. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh didn't, like, there. didn't like matching that. Duck, then light, then duck, then light. Um, yeah, done. All right, so that's six hay runders. Yeah, interesting. For Frenchies. Good job. Interesting. New. Cheers. Cheers.